What's going on? Welcome to HDTV. You're now rocking with your boy. Kind of tired. Heading into work. Start my day. Um, now. So far, um, the um, players going into the um, NFL season, well, not the NFL, but in the postseason, you have to um, elevate your level of play. And a lot of times, we get caught up with the names. You know, we get caught up with the names. We get caught up with the flash, you know, instead of the um, substance. Now, they keep running this debate about the GOAT conversation, who's the best. And they're like, man, we might have to start talking about Steph Curry. And see, this is the problem I have with the league. And it's not just the NBA, it's the NFL. There's no such thing as a greatest of all time in the sport. I know a lot of y'all stick Rob Mike, stick Rob LeBron. They're not the greatest of their sport. They, they haven't played in any other era where they dominated. Michael was phenomenal in the 80s, but he didn't dominate the 80s. He dominated the 90s. So you would say he's the greatest of all time in the 90s. Or you could say he's the greatest two guard of all time. Steph Curry is a two guard. He's not a point guard. And Steph Curry has, um, you know, he's one of the, he's like the greatest probably of this era. You know? might have to say it you know the guy just all he does is go out there and play um, sacrifices for the team does what he have to do you know and this is what he showed he showed the heart of a champion at the end of the King series he um, checked Jordan Poole, which he's supposed to. And it's a lot of these young players today. See, that's what's wrong. It's not a lot of vets around no more. It's not a, not a lot of old heads. The old heads have become fanboys. Where they're blinded to what the um, young cats are doing. You know, a lot of these old cats are, are fanboys. Especially old heads who, who, who say LeBron is this and that. It's like, bro, How? Y'all ain't start talking about statistics and all of this stuff until LeBron came. When he was failing to win chips, failing to do anything, that's when y'all started talking about it. But to the vet point, we don't have any real old heads no more. All these old heads are, 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 are soft. They, they fanboys. They want to be just like the kids. You got a grown man who got a LeBron James as his avatar. And he's and he's in his 30s. It's like, bruh, stop playing. You are, you just started watching ball when he came. <laughs> you mean to tell me you watched the 90s, you watched the 2000s, and you mean to tell me this is the best you've ever seen? It's like crazy to me. And I think we use that word great too much. It's, we use it way too much. That's why I say a player's okay or he's good, you know. Steph Curry's great. You know, Kevin Durant is okay. He's good. You know, he's had too many times where, you know, he doesn't rise to the occasion. 
you know, James Harden. He's all right. <laughs> you know, when he wants to play and everything, you know, when he wants to play, then he could turn to good. But I think we're using great way too much. And um, Isaiah Thomas um, for the Pistons, he said it best. It's like we're using that word too loosely, and we are. I don't think a lot of these guys are great. Lamar Jackson in football for what he has done, with the, the lesser talent he's ever played with going to the playoffs with that team that's great that's great Josh Allen Josh Allen's not great to me I think he's okay um, Joe Burrow he's great he showed it you know but we use that word great way too much We've got to stop saying this guy's great. This guy's great. This guy's great. It's like, what makes him great? You know, what What does he do that separates him from everybody else? I knew Kobe was great way before the 81-point game. When um, Shaq got hurt and um, he went on that streak of scoring like 50s and stuff, almost 60. The stretch where he had to go to court, fighting for his life, then coming back to play a game the next day, flying in a helicopter back and forth. That's great. Shaquille O'Neal, he's not great to me. Shaq was just okay. He was all right. He underachieved to me. And people are like, well, he won four chips. Did he win it or did they win it as a team? I mean, he put up all these numbers, but Shaq was a ball hog. A lot of guys did not like playing with Shaq. He was a ball hog, but he's cool off the court. Off the court, he's probably the funnest guy to play with. But all, but on the court, man, guys did not like playing with him. Allen Iverson was great. You know, later in his career, I wish he could have um, elevated, but he didn't. You know, he never really elevated to that facilitator, you know, after, you know, he got older. To get guys involved, make guys better. I think if he would have done that, he would have had a longer career. But you can't take nothing away from Bubba Chuck, man. But the things that um, but the things that we have to realize is we've got to stop calling everybody the greatest, the this and that. There's no such thing as a golden team sports. I don't care. Don't don't come at me talking about well, Michael Jordan said Michael Jordan ain't the best. <laughs> He's not. Michael Jordan was allowed to get away with his fadeaway shot because every time you got up on him, they called a foul. Not saying that he's he can't. He's not saying that he's not great. Michael Jordan is phenomenal. He's a phenomena. He's a trendsetter, but he's not the greatest. The greatest, you would say, Muhammad Ali. He's the greatest of all time. LL Cool J, the greatest of all time. Come to art, being an artist, rapping, MC, everything, making hits. He's the greatest of all time. Sugar Ray Robinson, the greatest pound for pound of all time. You know, things like that. That's what makes you the greatest when you're by yourself, you don't have no teammate. You don't have nobody who can set a screen or a block for you when somebody's throwing them punches. You know, you can't, you don't have anybody out there helping you with the rack and knocking it over the arm, um, over the net. You know, it's just you and that other person. Yeah, y'all could team up and play, but mostly you're by yourself. Like Arthur Ashe, great. Macaro, great. 
Sir, the Williams sisters, both of them great. Pete Sampras, great. Tiger Woods, great. Jack Nichols, Jack Nicholas, great. That's greatness when you're playing by yourself. Not no damn basketball player. That's not, there's no goats in no damn basketball. If you want to say they the goat at their position, like Magic Johnson could say, I'm the goat point guard or I'm the goat of the 80s. You know, he could say that. He got the cachet to say it. Isaiah Thomas could say, I'm the greatest point guard ever. You know, there's people who say Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is the greatest player ever. And that's um, that's um, Dr. J. Dr. J, Isaiah Thomas say, no, nah, Kareem the greatest ever. Um, they say Bill Russell's the greatest winner ever, and he is. 11 championships, are you kidding me? That's the greatest winner ever. Not no damn Michael Jordan. <laughs> Y'all always say Michael went six for six. Well, Russell went 11 and 13. I'm just saying. Like, what are we talking about here? You know, we, we got to stop with these narratives and these, and these, um, what do you call it? And these, um, Pete, and these, um, these, um, the fake media and stuff trying to tell you this person's better than this person because they scored a 50 points on Thursday night. Like, get the hell out of here. <laughs> like, Patrick Mahomes, he's, he's great. But would I put him over Dan Marino? No. Would I put him over Joe Montana? No. That doesn't mean he's not great. You know, somebody was like, oh, well, he's better than Peyton Manning. No, he's not. Not better than no damn Peyton Manning. <laughs> Peyton Manning was a way better, way better throw of the ball than Pat was. More accurate and everything. He could throw from the pocket. Steve McNair was better. So, you know, we got to stop saying that somebody's the GOAT and all that. You know, can't say it. To me, Tom Brady is the, to I say, you know, Tom Brady, you know, I be telling people, the greatest winner, you know, in football. You know, I mean, I mean he's the greatest winner at quarterback. But the greatest quarterback, in my opinion, is Warren Moon. Warren Moon was the greatest quarterback ever. And I don't care what anybody say. <laughs> like, really, I don't. You know, I got Kobe as the greatest two guard ever. So, you know, you know people are going to agree to disagree, but we've got to stop using that word great all the time. And we got to bring these vets back. We got to bring real vets back and start getting on these silver spoon dudes. We got too many silver spoon dudes. You know, like them two guys for the Boston Celtics, the two Scottie Pippins. Brown and Tatum are silver spoon dudes. Kyrie Irving was trying to show them how to be great. And you know what happened? They didn't want to listen because they're silver spooned. They got to the um, Eastern Conference Finals. They thought, oh, man, we could do it without Kyrie. And it's like, you ain't shown it yet. You ain't shown y'all could win it big without him. I ain't see you guys hitting no big shots like that. You know, this is the difference. And this is what I keep trying to tell y'all. It's hard. It's hard, man, to be the guy, to be the man, and, and be um criticized. It's hard, my G. So I just wanted to tell y'all that. Just give you guys a little bit of um this and that. Just wanted to talk to you guys about the word great. I mean, I think we're using that word too loosely. I, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm... You know, I'm I'm not finna call a lot of people great no more, dog. It's, you just good. Are you all right? Are you mid? <laughs> That's how it is. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share this.
Um, hit that notification bell to select all to receive upcoming notifications. If y'all love what you hear, you can donate to the page by going to my um, description box, hitting that link in my cash app to donate whatever your heart's desire. Um, and you guys can super chat when the video premiere, like this one's premiering right now. And then when I do a live, you guys can super chat. But if you don't do it, you come after the video, just rewatch the video and you can super thanks before you do the, or watch the video or after the video. So thank you guys for your love and support. I'm out. Deezy.